Uh, hi, Thomas. Hello. Techland announced that from now on, there is Dying Light 2, Stay Human. What do we mean by stay human? Actually, you can see there are two layers to, to this stay human question. The first layer is the obvious one, is that in our city, everyone is infected. So everyone has a disease and everyone has, a bio, all the people have a biomarker around their wrist that will monitor the infection. But, you know, everyone is basically a time bomb, which means that, uh, you know, you could turn, uh, I could turn at any minute. So, so that's like the very obvious layer is that you, you uh, along the game, you're going to fight to not get infected, basically. And the second layer um, is really about how do you keep your humanity? What does it mean to be human, uh, human in this uh, in this setting of uh, um, you know modern dark ages, where you know the, the fall has, has, has come, and for us, um, it's the kind of thing that we wanted to explore in the game as well. Is uh, and it's the kind of thing that shaped the story that that we wrote and that uh, that shaped the location that we built um, around uh, around this idea of what does it mean to be human in uh, you know beyond the apocalypse, basically. We cater for everyone, basically, so it depends on the sensibility of the different players. Uh, if you really want to focus on, uh, on, on kind of like the infected and, 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 uh, and, and, and going uh, in this direction, then, then you can. Uh, but if you want to explore more and if you're more interested to, to understand, uh, you know, what it means to be human in, in our setting, I promise that there will be a lot of super interesting stuff and heartbreaking stories. So, will you follow cold calculation or your heart? The bazaar needs good people. Help us and you'll find a home here. Stay human in, in this world is by giving the player uh, really the opportunity to define himself by his choices and to choose his destiny in this world. And it sounds a bit cliche, but it's actually very true in the game that we're building. Um, you know, the choices, uh, the, the storyline that you will follow and the world around you will be drastically different uh, according to the choices that you make. And actually, the, the unique set of rules that, that are deriving from, from this stay human idea, you know, everyone is infected, uh, the night and day paradigm, uh, the, the threat of, of streets very much shaped the whole world that we built uh, and actually the rules of the city, you know, be it our characters, our factions, um, you know, even the geography of, of the city is very much a, a product of, of uh, these set of rules. For example, when the player will parkour the rooftop, he will also see the seeds of this new civilization emerging and uh, you know that's a, that's a statement about the resilience of, of humankind uh, so it's a statement about our nature as humans and uh, uh, we really wanted uh, to give the players the opportunity to, to not only to see that but also to be involved in, in, in the rebirth of a civilization. Your choices will actually shape the skyline of the city, the type of structures that you will see on the rooftops uh, and, and, and what you take on, on, on what being human is. The player can choose uh, to tag with several factions in a game, two factions, um, and they all have opposed, they both have opposed value, yet they both think that they are the good guys in a way. Uh, first faction, the, the peacekeepers uh, adopted uh, a military style organization. So basically, they believe that uh, these extreme times call for extreme measure. And uh, in their view, they want to rebuild the civilization um, by enforcing a kind of a, like a strict set of, of rules and of laws, because uh, that's what they believe in. And then, as opposed to that, you have another faction, which is the survivor, and they have a complete different take on what it means to be a good guy and, and how they want to rebuild civilization. They believe that the bond of the community is what will, will help uh, humankind, you know, be born again as it is. Things move fast and quick in Dying Light 2. Each moment matters. Each move could mean triumph or defeat. 
choose your actions and friends carefully. Everything you do in the city can reshape the gameplay environment, change the course of the narrative, and decide the fate of the city's residents. But most importantly, you decide your own fate as well. You're about to turn. Make sure to stay human. <laughs>